little luxury unboxing. So we'll get into that. Before we do, I'll just give you the details about what I'm wearing today. For those of you who care, I have a little Forever 21 headband to disguise my hairdo that my daughter has not yet tackled. A little cheap. I think I paid like eight bucks for the sundress from Burlington Coat Factory maybe two years ago. Accessorized with a little wad, some simple little earrings, my custom nameplate that I need to adjust. And then I'm going to be pairing that with these cute little Target Heels flats from the brand A New Day. These are so comfortable. They look so expensive when they're on your feet. I just love them. So without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. So um, my birthday is the first week of June. My husband and I traveled to New York City. Those of you who know me know I live in upstate New York. It's very different from New York City because we get that question a lot. They think, a lot of people think um, that New York City is New York State. Um, they don't know the difference that there is cities all over here that are not one of the boroughs. So I live upstate New York. So it was about a five hour drive for us down there. My husband surprised me with it like the week prior to let me know that we would be going to New York. So I was really excited about that. Um, I know everything was just starting to open up due to the pandemic. So I was kind of worried were we gonna be able to have a good time or not, or like, were we gonna be able to see things that we normally would, you know, just, I was just hoping it was gonna be a good time. I didn't wanna go way to New York City and like be a dead trip. So we went there, we actually stayed at the Double Tree down by Wall Street, I loved it. Um, the rooms of course in New York City were small, but the hotel felt really safe. There was a cute little Italian restaurant downstairs, so I really enjoyed myself. Um, we didn't go shopping until Saturday um, morning. And it was like 90 degrees that day. So, you know, it was hot girl summer for real. But nevertheless, of course, I had a couple of things on my wish list for my birthday. Um, I wanted a small Gucci bag, um, one of the uh, super minis. I wanted a super mini. Um, at that time, I had wanted a toy Lulu from YSL. And then I did want this bag as well. Um, I went with this because when I seen it in person, I fell in love because I had a Speedy 25 that I knew I was going to be selling soon because I wanted a bandolier and I just had the traditional Speedy. So I knew I was going to be selling it. So I wanted something that kind of replaced it, that a bag that can dress up or dress down. Not too dressy, but you know, you could wear it to church or out to dinner. Um... So that's what made me lean towards this bag. The bag that I was blessed with on my birthday. Let's see here, you guys are getting the full unboxing. The bag that I got, I'll keep that in the frame. Is the Graceful MM. I love this bag. Um, I went with this bag because, like I said, I needed something that dressed up, dressed down, um, that I would be able to wear with jeans or a sundress, as well as take it to work. Very durable. As you see, the strap, I didn't want to be carrying a bag because, you know, us moms, we keep a lot of stuff inside of our bags. And then that carrying, like I was doing with my Speedy 25, no, 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 no. So that's why I wanted something that I could kind of just put there and it has a little look to it. So when the SA brought this bag out, I instantly fell in love with it. Like I said, I didn't even, this is our first stop. I didn't even go to Gucci first. I didn't go look in YSL. We went to Louis Vuitton first because my husband wanted a cologne. And like I said, when he brought this out, I just knew this was my birthday bag. Um, it has the classic DE print with the red lining, the cherry red lining. Um, 
It has one large pocket in it that I love. It also has the magnetic snaps. So that's very cute to go along with it. I also, let me see which one else. I got my name engraved on the tag that some samples my essay gave us. That should be it. So I got my name engraved on the tag, on the bag tag. Can y'all see that? What my first and last initial. So yeah, I really think I'm gonna enjoy this bag. Like I said, it has multi-function to it and it also looks very elegant. I am a DE girl, but I'm starting to fall in love with monogram. Um, but naturally, like my natural go-to has always been DE. That's what I love. So with this bag, since it's like so loose and um, it can lose its form very easy or like I just didn't want it to be the black hole of just throwing stuff in here. I did purchase a bag organizer off of Amazon and um, that, I'm going to show that to you right now. That's gonna go into the what's in the bag, my bag portion. So yeah, I ordered this off of Amazon. It was like $17. So you guys are gonna actually help me to set this up. I've had this bag for almost a month now. Never used it, never took it out the box. So you guys are actually helping me to put this together. So I'm gonna start off with showing you guys a bit of what's gonna go in here, like what's all inside of my organizer. And I have quite a bit of junk, so bear with me. <laughs> so like I said, this organizer, I want to take all the stuff out so that you can see the inside. This organizer has elasticity right there like you could put your drink in there you could put a big a big bottle of lotion if you desire it has po um, pockets for like your lotions your sanitizer um, a cell phone portion so I really liked it it has some on the outside as well so yeah I like to keep my bags in good condition because if I do decide to resell or something I don't want all those stains and stuff in there and then like not being funny, this is not a $20 bag, you know? So I don't want to just be walking around having it all stained up juice, my son throwing his candy in there, uh-uh, organizer. And I recommend that moms of small children get one too. I like these instead of the felt, the material is like a canvas because the felt kind of gets nappy. Mm-mm, I don't like that. So yeah, so I went with this canvas type of material. And then, like I said, you guys are gonna load this up with me. Um, one of the first things I have is my little Coach makeup bag and leopard print. It, I thought this was cute. I've had this for years, but I used this one specifically because I thought it kind of went with the brown theme, the natural theme. Um, of course, I have a little mask in here. This one here is from Skims. Mm. One of my little MAC lipsticks. My DKNY Apple Perfume. Y'all, this still hits. Like this perfume is from back in like the 90s or something. When I tell y'all that, mm, mm -mm. it's like a fresh, clean apple scent. Love it. I'm also going to take some things that I had in my other bag that I need to put in here. Another MAC lip gloss. Um, I am going to put in my travel size of the Bum Bum Cream. It will be helpful if I can hold it. There, look at the Bum Bum Cream. And then I have a Laneige. I got this out of the gift set pack. So it was like a pack of like three or was this the birthday gift from Sephora? One or two. I got a couple of these, so. I also have this little Crest Spray Mouthwash. Can you guys see that? 
these came in a pack of five. I get these from like, you know how Marshalls be having that stuff like at the register when you're going through the line? So yeah, when I find stuff like this, I always pick it up because like, you could never have too much for this. And then when you go to like Target and Walmart, they charge like double the price. And when you go to like Burlington or Marshalls sitting right up there, it'd be like $2.99 for like five of these. So it does have a cap on it. And you just minty. So I keep that locked. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna put that in a, my um, makeup bag. I'm gonna put it in a pocket. I'm just worried about like little dust and germs getting on there. Um, I do have also this perfume. I believe it's BB. Yeah, BB. Um, it smells good. It's a kind of teeny boppy for me, and I like to have this. Yeah, it's a cute little scent. I like to have stuff like this because, like, I, my, I bring my 10 year old with me, or sometimes my teenager, she forgets her scents. So I just like to have like a little cheapy on hand just in case, you know, in case of emergencies. I am also going to put this little coach hair tie in there as well because y'all already know we cannot have too many of these and with it getting hot out I just want to be able to grab it and then I think this makes a cute little fashion statement with the little C hanging down so so I'm gonna put that I think that's gonna be it for the makeup bag I also have some hand sanitizer and I'm gonna put that in a pocket so I can grab that quickly Lysol a portable little Lysol spray y'all I still spray handles um, certain things that I know comes into heavy contact I still spray it does normally come with the top y'all pray for me because my son is a top bandit like I don't know what his fixation is so he used to rip the tops like off my perfumes things like that but now he's just taking the tops and child pray for me so I also have the Mario Badescu face refresher I like these on a sunny day because like they give you a little dewy, dewy mist they give you a little dewy mist like if you start sweating or you know out in the summertime you just want to look fresh you might be tired I just sprayed this and it just, it smells good. It gives you a little pop. So I keep one of these inside of my bag as well. I have my glasses, y'all. I'm supposed to wear, oh my God, look how much clearer that is. Oh, that is a shame. I'm supposed to be wearing glasses all day, every day. But... <laughs> I cannot get used to something being on my face for that long. And I know you're gonna say, get context, get context. Honey, mm -mm. I'm trying, me, the nails, putting them in my eye, no. I just can't do it, y'all. I gotta mature, I gotta grow up. Like, there's nothing else I can say, I gotta grow up. But I think I'm gonna keep these on because like, I just, it's like a whole new world. Like, man. Anyway, back to the haul, y'all. So, I have another little mask. I keep a couple. Um, I know they say we don't have to wear them now if you're vaccinated, but I still keep some on hand because there's some stores, some businesses that prefer for you to have them on. Like my church, they still prefer for us to wear them. I like to keep a couple extras because I know like one of the kids is going to lose them. They're going to pop their string. They're going to stick it in the fountain. Y'all got kids, y'all know. Okay, and this needs to actually go into my cosmetic pouch, but it's just a female cooling wipe, cleansing wipe. Um, you know, y'all know what these are. Going into public bathrooms, just wanna freshen up. We have that, so I, I zip that actually and put that into my cosmetic pouch. This is, I think this actually is my first like Louis piece. It's my key 
clay. Um, sometimes they call them key holders now. I love this. I have a real attachment to it because like I said, I believe this is my first luxury piece. Um, it just started becoming a little unpractical for me because like I have 20 cards and then you can't get them out and all that. But if I'm going somewhere like walking around or something like that, like to New York or something like that, and I just need a couple cards, like I'll put like my ID and maybe two other cards and I still will don't touch me but i will clip it to my pant pocket and just stick it in there just so i can have it easy to go but this is one of those things like i think i will never get rid of this knock on wood because hey uh, but yeah you guys i keep this with me um like i said if i just want to lock my purse in the trunk of the car and just want to grow and grab i'm on a mission i don't need that heavy purse i take this with me put that in a pocket you know what I'm gonna actually put that back here so next I have my sunnies these are some Ray-Ban sunnies these are so cute you guys look at these it's got a little tortoise look to them mm, yes mm -hmm for a sunny day and the funny part is like the glasses I just got into wearing my shades um literally like this summer because I kept buying them kept buying them and wouldn't wear them because I don't like stuff on my face but I don't know if it's once I started getting a few bags under the eyes what the case might have been I love them and now I keep them on me and I think these are so cute so I'm gonna put these in. I love the case that comes with them. Cause it's light, you know, with like the um, Gucci or something, they come with that big bulky hard case. This is like soft, flimsy leather. I'm gonna put that in one of these elastic holders just to hold it up. So if I'm looking for them, um, this is not gonna go into my organizer. I'm gonna actually like stick it behind there, but I do have my planner and a pen. Um, I said, when I consistently do what I'm supposed to and everything, I'm gonna reward myself with a Louis Vuitton planner. I really enjoy my planner. I've been like doing it for a couple years now. But sometimes, y'all know how that is, we be on a roll for a second and then get that inconsistent thing. Mm -mm. I gotta do better. So that's my gift to myself. If I become consistent in writing in my planner, I'm gonna treat myself to a Louis Vuitton um, planner. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the bag. And last but not least is sort of a mini unboxing as well. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can see y'all. Mm. Oh my God, that's a shame, whole new world. It's my Victorine wallet. I put it back in the box because I was not using it, but because my bag is bigger, I think it's, only but right to have a more classic full wallet and I love it so I'm gonna stick this in the side as well now my organizer's full I got my planner in the middle let's see how this fits Perfect fit, perfect fit. It doesn't stretch my bag out. I still kind of have that hobo look. And then now I'm gonna put the planner in. And voila. Now I have a grown woman bag. So, like I said, this is the Louis Vuitton Graceful. I love this bag. 
It was gifted to me from my husband uh, from the Louis Vuitton store in New York City. If you're interested in getting my essays information, I'll leave that at the bottom in the description box. But I will update you guys on how I like this bag, how it carries, is it too heavy on your shoulder, anything like that. Because one thing about me, sis, if I do not like this bag, I will sell it or return it if it's enough time. Because, mm -mm. It's, like I said, it's not a $20 bag, so I'm not going to just keep it for the name. I will send it back and get me something new because I do have a couple of other bags on my wish list. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come back for more family vlogs, some clean with me's, um, and some more unboxings. Y'all have a good day.